I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this. Oh, my husband would be so furious. Well, okay, I mean, what he doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Oh my gosh, this would kill him. This is so fun! I am a horrible wife. That's it, I'm taking it all back. I am never going back! I am a despicable human being. what is up welcome back to the channel my name is Heather or the sassy Cinderella and if you are a fan of Disney bounding stick around because we have all sorts of Disney looks coming up in this video if you are new to my channel I do lots of Disney content especially Disney fashion and Disney unboxings and I would love for you to join the sassy family hit that subscribe button and turn those notification bells on so that you are notified when I upload new content guys it is another collaboration with yay max sweaters today I am pumped. I am so excited about this. Yamac has been so kind to me as a company. They reached out to me back in like January-ish when I was planning my trip to go down to Disney for Festival of the Arts and they reached out. They said, would you do a review of our product? Would you do a Disney bounding video and partner with us? And I said, absolutely, of course. And I was not disappointed. I loved every single piece. I had so much fun. So this is an unpaid collaboration in the traditional sense, but I do, full disclosure, receive a very small commission on purchases. They have been so kind to give me a discount code for you guys, which is for 40% off your entire order. It is totally worth it. So that discount code is going to be sassy yamac 16 through July 31st. So I'm gonna leave that right here. It's gonna be down in the description along with their website their Instagram so that you can go check it out. So Yay Max Sweater is known for their sweaters, of course, but they also have a flair for vintage design, that 50s and 60s era, which I love so much. But they definitely have pieces that cross over into modern design as well. And you're gonna see a little bit of both today. I've got four different looks for you. So I'm gonna show you each of the sweaters and then the bounds that correlate with those sweaters. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you about this first sweater. I'll show you some of the options on the website, talk to you about sizing and things like that. And then I'll show you the bound so this first sweater I am obsessed with it and I am not just saying that this is one of the coolest pieces in my wardrobe right now my husband and I both were immediately like that is such a cool piece so thank you yay Mac for choosing this for me because I am obsessed it is this cropped sweater so it's gonna be a little hard to see um, just holding it up, but it is a cropped sweater. It crops just above or below the chest line, depending on how you kind of adjust it. And it has a hood on the back. Hello, it has a hood. How cool is that? And it has a full length sleeve. As you can see, that sleeve cut kind of goes down along the arm a little bit. So it's very breathable. You don't have sweater right underneath uh, this area that gets nice and hot. So it's cropped in the front and then the back, when you actually get it on, cuts up a little bit further. It's just such a cool piece. I absolutely love it. The fact that there's a hood on here is just a bonus. And it is a very thin knit. You can see here so that it's breathable, but it's still got a really good weight to it and it really allows it to sit on the body in a really flattering way. Really and truly, this is one of my very, very favorite pieces, period. I, I, can't, I can't stress enough how much I love this sweater. So right over here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some different options on the colors and I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about sizing as well. So um, with this sweater, it is a little different than their other sweaters. All the ones I had received last time were either small, medium, large, etc., etc. This is actually a split sizing, so small, medium, medium, large. Um, and I think I probably might have fit the small, medium better than the medium, large. I have lost a little bit of weight though, so that might be why. Um, it still totally works. But I would say typically with their sweaters, if you're kind of in between, you wanna size up a little bit because it is that vintage sizing. But because of the nature of these being a little bit on the baggier side, you might actually want to size down depending on how you like the sweater to fit. Um, it worked just fine, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it. But um, just 
just a heads up there that the sizing on this sweater and one of the others is gonna be in that split category. So just kind of be cautious of that when you purchase. So I will say one other thing is it's gonna be delicate. It's just the nature of the knit. It's not a problem, but you wanna kind of keep that in mind when you go about your day. Don't go doing any crazy lifting or working in a sweater like this and definitely air dry, maybe even hand wash on something like this or very, very delicately wash. I love that about it though. It's just, you kind of want to be cautious because it is going to be a more delicate knit. It is sewn very well though, surged very well, and I love it. So I decided to bound as Judy Hopps. So let's roll the footage. So this cropped and hooded sweater just couldn't be more perfect for the Judy bound. I added the carrot necklace detail and just a little cop badge that I got at the party store because why not? It adds a fun little element, of course, an optional one. I used a blue t-shirt tucked into a dark wash pair of denim to get all of those Judy colors. You do have the option to flip this up as a hood and you will notice that I adjusted this sweater so that it is short in the front and low in the back, even though it's normally the opposite. I then picked up this belt with the little satchel attachment. And of course the handcuffs are just a little added element for fun for this video, but probably not something you're gonna carry around in the parks. Now, again, along with this dark wash denim, I decided to go with a dark boot, a black booty with a lace up detail because that seemed fitting. And I am really happy with how this look came together. Okay, so I had so much fun with that Judy Hopps bound. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am 100% gonna be getting that sweater in at least one other color. That is how much I love it, really and truly. The next sweater they sent me is something you would consider a basic in your closet because you could grab it to go with just about anything but it is so flattering on. That is what I love about vintage style. It is kind of a mid length cardigan, short sleeve cardigan. So it's not, it's not real short. It's not a crop size, but it's also not lower hip. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. It is a basic white vintage style cardigan with this adorable little ruching on the sleeve that gives it that just feminine touch. You've got ribbing along the base of the sleeve and the cardigan itself here. The button down, it doesn't want to pull. You know how sometimes you get those sweaters and they want to pull in an awkward spot? I have never had an issue with that personally with their sweaters. This is back to that normal sizing. So I'm going to over here show you different colors and things, but this is going to be that traditional small, medium, large, etc vintage sizing so if you are kind of in between size up so this is a medium and I just think it's darling this is something that will go with anything that I can just grab straight out of my closet and put it on and it's basically gonna look good with most things I also love just even this subtle little detail along the back of the sleeve again to give it more of that vintage aesthetic and I just loved it so for the next two looks, actually, I'm gonna be using the same dress. I wanted to show you how you could style it just by changing a couple details. So the first look is going to be Olaf. So let's roll the footage. So for this Olaf look, I chose a white high-low dress that I had bought for a rainy day that had been in my closet and it paired so perfectly with this white cardigan. I like it both opened and closed, but I think I prefer it open for this particular look the most. I did choose that black belt to substitute for the black buttons that Olaf has and some orange sunglasses since he has that carrot nose up around his face as well as the carrot necklace once again. I did have that blue backpack and this little feather in my hair. I just thought it added a little something. There's a close up on that carrot necklace again for you. And because he has those sort of stick legs that are in the dark tone, I decided to add this tight, this black sheer tight with a little booty. And of course you have to have Olaf himself hiding somewhere. Now, I just love how this look came together. It's so fun, so carefree. And again, the sweater just worked out perfectly. Once again, there's that closed option. The option to have it open is my preference, but this was so much fun to put together. And I know that I am going to get so much use out of this little white cropped cardigan. Okay, so I really hope you guys loved that Olaf bound. It was a really fun one to put together for sure. He's such a character and that little white cardigan just worked out perfectly. So for the next sweater that they sent me, we are going back to that kind of thin knit in a totally different style in a totally different color. And that is going to be this long sort of duster style cardigan. 
So this one is just open down the front. There isn't any buttoning or anything like that. It's just straight down the front. But the sleeves have that detail where you can kind of let it go longer or higher by buttoning this little side section. So you get that ruching detail down on the sleeve, which is really nice. This is an even thinner knit than the other, as you can see. So again, it's going to be delicate. So just be careful with what you are wearing it to and how you dry it, things like that. But it's so nice because it feels lightweight and you know especially when I'm at home and things like that and I want to be cute and casual and go about my day especially fall and springtime um, it's nice to have something that isn't too heavy or too light which is how I feel this kind of is it gives me enough warmth so that I'm not freezing but I'm also not sweating in it does that make sense so I really really like this thin knit style and it also has pockets so um, hello I always appreciate when there is a good pocket and there is a slit detail here on the back as well so it just kind of gives it a little fashion-y element and we again have that kind of ribbing along the bottom edge so again this is that split sizing so I'm gonna put over here some of the options so this is a medium large again I probably could have used a small medium on this one it is a little big on me but I love the style and because it's more casual it still totally works but again full disclosure with the split sizing if you're unsure and you're kind of between sizes I would maybe size down so love this though and I love this kind of blushy tone I just oh, it's one of my favorite colors so really really happy about this so I decided I was going to use this sweater with the same dress and change it over to Marie so again several of these looks I'm pulling in the same pieces so you can see how just one item can completely change your character so love this so much very very comfy now let me show you the Marie footage so you can see here by just changing a few details, we've got a whole new look. I absolutely love how comfortable this sweater is and the blush tone was just absolutely perfect to pick up some Marie details. I also got this choker style necklace with some bling because I feel like Marie is very fancy. And I found a pink sash as a belt um, just online because I thought it was the right tone of pink. This sweater, of course, has pockets. Hello, anything with pockets is an instant win for me. It just adds a great level of detail. And here's another close-up on that sash. Absolutely love. And the dress has pockets too. Now you can see here's a back shot where those slits are in the sweater, which are so adorable. And of course, the pockets again. I picked up a sparkly shoe. Again, Marie is full of sparkle, thought it would be appropriate. And I topped the whole look off with a pink bow in my hair. And I just love how this came together the sweater was perfect so I had a ton of fun with Marie I love that just a sweater can change a look so much and you know it's great because when you have sweaters a lot of times you can use them to layer I did mention this in my last video too when it comes to Disney bounding for me I'm always looking for ways to incorporate as many details about a character and as many colors as I can you know certain characters especially have multi-tones so anything that is you know something that's layerable is going to be such a benefit in creating looks and I love that about their pieces now I do have one last look to show you this is going back to the traditional sizing so small medium large so this one's gonna be a medium and this is definitely a more vintage style sweater and when I saw it come in all I could think was Harry Potter. So I'm gonna go a little bit off of script here and I just had to go with this Harry Potter look. So let me show you what this is. It is a vintage style green sweater. It's kind of a forest green with a little bit of blue in it. And again, we have that beautiful puckering up along the sleeve and even at the base of the sleeve this time. So you've got that puckering at the top and the bottom. It gives it such a girly classic look and you have this yellow collar. I just saw Slytherin written all over this. I, I couldn't get it out of my head. Once this came in, I could not get it out of my head. It's that super soft material that they have. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before. Let me see if I can find it here. So this is going to be 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. So it's very, very soft and it is definitely a tight knit. You're not gonna see through this in any way. And it's also got this great detail at the bottom where you know it kind of like comes in a little bit. So you've got that little kind of, 
I don't know if bubbling is the right word, but it's just got that little extra something something around the hips that I think is so cute. Again, we have that beautiful detail along the back of the sleeve. And you know, the Slytherin colors tend to be that foresty green, uh, yellow or gold that you see sometimes with the snake and then gray or black. And so I just kept seeing that in my mind and I had to do a look for it. So here are gonna be some of the other selections over here, but let me know down in the comments what your house is. Have you created a look for your specific house? Now Slytherin's not my house. I am normally a Hufflepuff with maybe a little bit of Ravenclaw, but I'm, I'm a Hufflepuff, so, um, but as I said before, as I said in the last video, it's fun to be bad. So here is my Slytherin look. Guys, I had way too much fun putting this together. You can see that green and gold sweater is just perfect for Slytherin. I paired it with this sort of modern style capelet, a shorter black skirt, and again, those same sheer black tights and a boot. So I have this purse that I'm carrying, which is just my daily purse. And I thought it kind of looked like luggage and worked perfectly in this setting. I was really happy to be able to kind of use just a section of train that's left over in our part of town that you can actually tour and things like that. So that was really cool. I, again, cannot get over this pop of green in the sweater. I picked up an earring that was a snake as well as a ring that was a snake because that screams Slytherin. So giving you a better look at the actual sweater itself, you see the gold collar, the ruching detail on that sleeve I was mentioning, and I've got this green headband to match. It felt very schoolgirl to me. So absolutely love how this came together. As you can see, I've got my letter to Hogwarts and I am on my way. See you soon. Okay guys, so that was my last official bound for this video, trying something totally different, a Harry Potter house look that I've never done before. That was really, really fun though. And what's so cool about that look is that you could so easily go through the crazy amount of colors that they offer in their sweater line and just find your house colors and make that look for yourself. So really, really, really fun. Thank you so much again to Yamax Sweaters. I'm gonna leave that discount code one more time here for you guys, all their information down in the description box for 40% off of your entire order through July 31st. So definitely take advantage of that because I love their sweaters. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to do some more Disney bounty for you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.